Hey all, I'm going to do a quick uh, Java tutorial here on the difference between a thread and a future in Java and what the benefits of each may be. It's hard to, to really see it without an example. So what we're going to do is we're going to make one thread and we're going to have it read the contents of a URL and we're going to make one future and have it read the contents of the URL and we're going to compare the differences on how difficult it would be to get the content of that URL. So let's get started. Here I have a class in, in Java called Threads and Futures, and I just pasted in this function, which is to read the URL. I basically just Googled this right off um, the Oracle website, and it's just a simple function without using J2EE that I can read it using a buffered reader. So this is what we're going to use for each. So let's just make a main method here. And so first thing I'm going to do is spawn a thread to read a URL. So to do this, let me go ahead and make a class here. Class worker thread. Why don't I do worker runnable implements runnable. So as you probably know, the thread class operates on runnables, and the runnables work with a run method. So in here, I'm going to go ahead and do sysout. Oh. Autocorrect cannot keep up. Starting runnable. And I will have finished runnable. And here I will have string contents equals threads and futures. Read URL. So I'm going to read HuffingtonPost.com in a URL. And I'm going to have this contents. So all my runnable will do is run, it will read this URL. Okay, great. So how do I do that? I'm going to do a new worker runnable. Assign this. My computer doesn't want to keep up with all the video it's doing. Worker runnable um, runner equals new runnable. And then I'll go ahead and make a thread. Thread equals new thread runner. So I'm going to create a thread. And then I'm going to do thread uh, start, which will start my runnable. So when I would run this, it's going to start my runnable and it's going to finish and I'll get the contents. Now, the first problem that you may see is how do I get this back from a thread? I mean, it's just going to have this contents within itself and there's nothing I can really do to get the contents of this URL. So this is when you unfortunately need to implement a callback. And there are a number of ways to do the callback, um, but here is... Um, one way to do it. I wouldn't say this was is the best way, but you'll get to see when we do futures how much simpler it is. So I would do a private, actually let's make it really simple, public string URL contents. So I'll put this here. And what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to pass in my class and call back it will, I will have it set this when it's finished. So how will I do that? I will do threads and futures. I'll have to make a constructor in this class, worker runnable um, t, and I'm gonna have to fortunately keep that in here. And I would say this.t equals t. 
So I set this, and then when I'm done, I would say t dot URL contents equals contents. So that's a simple way to um, set this. Now this is not going to compile because I need to pass it in my threads and futures. So I do thread.start, I do thread.join. So that's just going to join the main, it's going to, the main thread will wait until this one is finished. And throw this exception. Well, it's, it's going to throw an interrupted exception. And then I would do, maybe it's run a little better now. System that out line thread result is so I would just print out the contents here URL contents oops t dot URL contents that substring let's say it goes zero to so I'm going to pr print out the result. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. I run this Java application. Starting. Finished. And it printed out what was there. Okay, cool. So that was decently easy, I guess. I needed a thread. I had to pass it. Um, what I wanted it to set and then in its run method it set. So now let's see the elegance of the future and how this is going to work a lot better for us. So now let's make a new class, class worker callable. So the future will have the callable instead of the runnable. Implements callable. And here we can parameter, parameterize callable. So I can have it have a string. And in the string, and I will return in here. Let me first do system that out line callable started and callable finished. And I can copy what I'm reading. Dredge report. So here I can return the contents. Makes it so much easier because in my callable I can parameterize it and return an object. All right, so let's see how this would look. I would do executors that new. So these executor classes you have to get a little familiar with, but a cache thread pool is the first one that comes up, so let's just use that. And I can assign that to pool. So now I have an executor. I can do pool.submit. And submit will take my callable in. So we'll have to do, let's just say, new worker callable. So now I have submitted a callable. And in here, let's assign it to a new future. So this future is going to give me um, a future value of something that's going to return a string. 
So to get this, if, if I can't wait any longer, I will call the get method. So from there, um, what is get going to return? Well, it's going to return. I need to assign the new local variable. It's going to return my URL contents. So here I can now do, um, let's just copy this one. And future result is this. So in this example, it's really three lines of code. I make an executor and I submit it in the executor. The executors actually make your life a lot easier. There's a little bit of a learning curve. Um, but after that, you'll, you won't have any problems. Um, you submit the future and you return contents. After that, the future result can be printed out. So let's just go ahead and run this and see how it looks. Started the runnable, printed it out, call will start, the call will finish, and the future results that. So I hope you can see here, if you need to return a value, um, which most cases you would, the future is a much better option when it comes to returning values um, than the thread where you have to implement complicated callbacks. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.